So hi and welcome to another video. My name is Hilson. Today I bring you a cover reveal. Uh, this is something new that not a lot of people have. Like, I don't know how to explain it. This is new for me, to be honest. Like, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, thank you to the author, Courtney. Courtney Ruggles, uh, thank you so much for letting me be part of this amazing journey that you are, you know, on and for making me part of it. Um, I'm doing a cover reveal for her second book in her, I think it's a trilogy, on her dystopian new adult book. I think I've talked about this or mentioned it um, a little bit more. Her first book is The, the Sixth Domicile by Courtney Ruggles. Uh, this is a new adult dystopian novel and I'm gonna read the back because it's kind of hard to explain like with the names and stuff so here I go. It says a new civilization governed by clandestine elders where citizens are united by white masks and uniform identities to remove one mask to go outside a domicile to show defiance means being sent to the, to the mur murder or horrifying death sentence. I'm sorry for my you know, pronunciation of this, but I'll probably lift like the letters or hear how, you know, yeah. Q437B doesn't follow the rules. She craves sunlight, dares to love her childhood friend B116A, and the most forbidden of all, has seen the true face of her beloved beneath the mask. But when Q becomes an adult T, the domicile threatens to take away everything that makes her happy. She's forced to marry an abusive soldier who demands she conform. She was whispers spread about the unconventional lessons she teaches her new students, and when Q openly disobeys the elders, the people become restless, questioning the truth of the world in the wake of such defiance. Rumblings of discontent are stirring, and others begin to follow the path toward freedom. The revolution has begun, and Q is the spark that ignites the flame. So what the book is about uh, basically is about a, a, a community where they have to wear masks and this is kind of like the match trilogy in a sense where they are assigned to marry someone and have a certain type of job I guess and this is what happens you're not allowed to see the other person's face and stuff like that but she kind of questions everything like why does the elders have power over me why does this happen and stuff like that and in this one, she, well, in this book, the first book, she kind of defies all of that and she kind of questions everything and, well, the same as her lover or the other person stuff. So, yeah, things happen. And I'm just so, so excited to read the second book. I gave this book, I think I gave it a 3.5 or a 3 stars on Goodreads. It's not bad, but it's actually not that great. Um, I had a little trouble at the beginning, but towards the end, it just made everything better for me plus the ending was just so so good and now with that I'm just going to tell you what the cover of the second book which is actually coming on my birthday on the August 24th and there you go it's beautiful I don't know if you can see it I don't know if I'm in the frame or not but it's there uh, like I said this book is coming out on August 24th on my birthday and I'm so excited. I'm so excited for people to actually, like, you know, I like, keep reading about this. I think she is an amazing author. She's an amazing person, and I'm just so excited for her. And like I said, I'm excited that she wanted me to be part of this journey with her. And yeah, so if you have any interest in uh, purchasing any of the books, um, I'll leave the links down below and more about the first book if you want to know because I'm not that great at, you know, explaining things. But nonetheless, I'll leave all the links down below if you want to check that out. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!